Hello everyone and welcome to another Zapier training video. In this video I'm going to explain how to use the email parser by Zapier to trigger zaps from emails that you receive. Now a situation where you might use this is let's say you have a contact form on your site. Here's just a very simple contact form that I've set up. This is just on a test page and what we can do with the parser is when somebody fills this form out I can send a copy of that response to the Zapier parser in here. With the parser, what we do is we basically teach the parser how to read that email. And we teach it, right, this is how this is the person's name, this is their email, this is the message. And we can pull out the components of that email, which we can then use in other parts of our zap, depending on obviously what we're trying to do. You know, maybe maybe add it to an email list or a CRM, something like that. So this is a really useful um, trigger trigger step that you can use to trigger different zaps um, and basically get emails into your zaps somehow. So let me show you how it works. So here's my very simple contact form. I'm actually this is in this is the WordPress settings where I can actually edit the form and you can um, set how you want the email to display information. So we can see in here it says from and then the person's name, subject, email, and so on. So this is basically the email that this form will send to me. You can see up here it's sending it to my email address. And I've actually put in a second email address here, which is a Zapier parser mailbox. So to get an address like this, what you do is you go to parser.zapier.com. You can log in with your Zapier account and you create a new mailbox. I'm going to go to my existing ones here. Each mailbox is basically a different address that you can send uh, emails to and that mailbox is has a particular way that it reads emails. So for example, this one here, this, uh, this is the one that I use with this particular form. So whenever I email this address, it comes into the, the parser here and it will, um, we can teach it how to read the email. So if I do that now, let's just fill out the form. So let's go, um, John Smith, I'll just put in my email and let's put in just a number and big company. And this is my, okay, so we're gonna fill out the form, click send on that now. So that's been sent. So Zapier parser should receive a copy of that email. Let's view the emails. And we can see it's actually already pulled in the uh, the information and it's passed it and it's highlighted the bits of the email um, that we can now use. Now, if it's the first time you're emailing the parser, we actually need to create a template and teach it how to kind of read this email. So let's just edit this extra template and I'll show you how that works. So basically I can select any bits of text here and I can give it a name like, I'm gonna call that name. And so now whatever that value is, that's called the name. Same thing here, if I select that, we're gonna call that maybe cell, and I save that. So again, that number represents the cell. Um, I'm actually not gonna save this template, I've already got it saved, but that's basically what we're doing is we're teaching the parser how to read this email and showing it which of the bits of the email correspond to things like the name, the email, and so on. So that is the parser and setting it up with your contact form. And it doesn't have to just be contact forms. You could get emails in from, maybe you get leads from Facebook. You could have those be passed by Zapier. Um, any, any email that you've received really, you can forward it to um, the parser and teach it how to read that email. So it's great for these kind of automated system emails that you might get. So here's an example of the parser being used in a Zap. So it's my trigger step up here. And basically the trigger is when a, when a new email is received. In my options here, in my drop down, I choose which mailbox I want to trigger. And these are all the mailboxes that I've set up in Parser. So I've obviously selected the one associated with that particular contact form. And then you run your test and you can pull in a recent sample of data. Then if we just go to uh, another a, a step later on, let's go, let's just go to this step here. Now, when it comes to, um, you know, using this data somewhere in your Zap, whenever you click one of these menus, in the uh, trigger step, you'll actually find all of the information that the parser has um, received. So we've got things like the pass output name, that's the person's name, it's the output phone number, the message, um, other bits of information that the, we've, we've, you know, that's the subject line, all the information that came into the parser that we've told it, you know, this is, this is the phone number, we can see all of that in here now. So we've got name, phone number, everything, everything we need. And that's it. So obviously what you do with that information is totally up to you, but using the parser is a really handy trigger step for getting emails into Zapier, working with that data and automating that information somehow. 
If you have any questions about Zapier or the parser, please leave me a comment below. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.